Here we go after this match. I am going to both oh, because B-Rad! What better opportunity to show the non-skill of this deck by taking down B-Rad? We will see. What's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Today I am joined by Shoaib, Shoaib Bangladeshian Pro, who I've been wanting to get on the channel for a while now. A lot of requests to get this dude on the channel, and here he is. It is another Elixir Pump deck, man. Two, three, I think four Elixir Pump decks right now are meta inside the game. Uh, not the link to why am I so dumb? Why am I so dumb? Why can't I still <laughs> copy, paste? Uh, just paste, just paste it. Okay, here we go. It's the new Giant Prince Wizard Sparky deck with the pump, barbarians, minions as well. This is like right out of arena three, right? <laughs> Doesn't it feel that way, guys? I don't know what it is, but it is, it's weird and it's really, really good, really effective. Hopefully today's video proves that to you guys. We're gonna be trophy pushing on ladder live. I think somebody told me I have to look at my own profile and that gets rid of the bug where I can't look at anybody else's profile. Yes, it worked. Okay, so we're currently 51st in the world right now. I think the leaderboard is still bugged as well. So I think we're around 40 in the world. Either way, guys, uh, before we jump in, because he's not into a match right this second. Let me throw it to you guys. What decks are you using this season? What decks are hot right now with you, your clan mates, your friends? Whatever, let me know in the comments below because I'm always looking for great deck ideas. I'm specifically looking for stuff that is a little bit outside the box or just an incredible achievement, meaning that, you know, this guy made it to, you know, top 10 leaderboard or, you know, won a bunch of grand challenges in a row, something that I could not do, right? Essentially with the deck. So guys, anyway, I will be right back as soon as he finds a match. I lied actually really quick shout out to today's video sponsor first then a live ladder match as today's video is brought to you by World War Doe now World War Doe still going strong still playing it we're actually in season two now of World War Doe so perfect time to download it kind of get in on the ground floor of a game that on first glance looks a little bit like Clash Royale however there are some major differences you still have eight cards in your deck but you also have a commander who you can control throughout the battle you also have two turrets one heal in one rage that heals your commander or enrages your commander. The strategic possibilities are really endless, guys. It's a really fun game, and they t intend to really move it in the competitive direction. I mean, they're going to have a $25,000 tournament as soon as the COVID virus dissipates out there. So perfect time to kind of get in on this game. Use my download link. You'll get 1,000 gems and a free commander skin. Oh, and I almost forgot. In addition, the top three pushers at the end of the month in my club get 2,000 diamonds diamonds in a skin of my choice. Congrats to last month's winners. You can see them on the screen here. Check it out in the description and in the pinned comment below, guys, and I will see you over on the World War Doe channel, Ash World War Doe. But I do have a really cool developer interview on this game that I would advise you guys go ahead and check out after you're done watching today's video. Make sure you download the game, guys. Use my link, and I'll see you there in World War Doe. Thank you for sponsoring the video. Guys, here we go. Match number one underway against Gamu. Thanks again for supporting the uh, the video sponsors here on the channel, guys. means a lot to me. We go with a pump, starting things out, and a Royal Giant comes down from the opponent. So the simple, simple rules to this deck, this is why I like the deck. This comes right, uh, excuse me, right from Shoaib himself. He goes, simple rules, easy to understand. You pump early on, and then you defend. Double elixir time, you sparky giant push, and you combine them with the minions to support the sparky. That's pretty much it. You can defend with goblin gang, you can defend with barbarians, and you can spell bait your opponent with the barbarians as well. So you have a lot of options, especially when it comes to double elixir time. So here we go. We already had a pump on the board, so we go to sparky in the back. We have a giant there to tank. Here comes the interesting... Wait, this is a very interesting... Oh, we go to the wizard immediately. Zap two. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wizard Sparky at the bridge, ladies and gentlemen. This is not Arena 2. This is uh, top 100 ladder. And just like that, the left tower absolutely evaporates for the opponent. And the wow comes down. Just could not stop that Sparky. Sparky adding insult to injury. Another hit. Another hit. 479 HP on the tower. Are you kidding me? We have no direct damage other than the zap in this deck. So with 90 seconds left in regulation, the opponent is, well, uh, predicting fireball. Didn't hit three of the Barbarians. Nice job of the Barbarians on Shoei's part, putting them a little bit high, recognizing that Fireball could 
come down, which it did. Is he going to go ahead and are we going to zap here? And <laughs> we're going to wizard. Wizard's going to get two shots. And just like that, before double elixir time, we start with a three crown, ladies and gentlemen. That's the power of this deck. Be right back. All right, guys, that was a fast one. We go here in the next match underway against Skeleton Barrel to start things off. Looks like some sort of a bait deck from the opponent. No worries. We have the wizard. So wizard is down. Looks like a Mega Knight. Looks like a classic Mega Knight bait deck with a Skeleton Barrel. One of the first decks we ever saw in this game that utilized the, uh, the Skeleton Barrel. So here we go. It's going to be a bats. What do we have here? Barbarians right there at the uh, the river, at the bridge, excuse me. Zap comes down, actually exchanging zaps there, able to stop what could have been a very dangerous counter push in its tracks. And hey, one of these minions might get to the tower. One little tiny, what did we say the minions do? I forgot. I asked us about a year or two ago. Swipe? What do they, what do, they do? <laughs> what does a minion do? What's the verb? They... <laughs> I forgot. Anyway, pump is down, uh, drop, they swipe, they... I don't know what they're doing. Uh, anyway, this is a big attack from the opponent, absolutely assassinating our pump there. Very unfortunate going against this miner here, and wow, uh, the tale of two matches here. Match number two, not looking so good first 90 seconds. Match number one, heck, we almost had a three crown in 90 seconds. So here we go again. Spirit Goblins at the bridge. Going to be an interesting deck to face here. We go with the Giant right there at the bridge. Minions behind. We have Zap in hand now. So are we going to do it? I think we should. Yeah, we do. Minions are going to clean up very nicely against those Skeletons from the Skeleton Barrel. And finish off the Inferno Dragon. Also actually distract a couple of those Spirit Goblins from the Goblin Gang. We do take that damage. We're going into Double Elixir Time. That's going to be Tower very close to down. One Zap will take that left Tower down. We go with the uh, the Pump. Even though he has Miner and a bunch of bait in Cycle right now. We miss the Miner. Very risky. Zap comes down. We lose that entire Pump advantage. Interesting that he pumped knowing that Miner was in hand of the opponent. Didn't really work out for us here. And only 37 seconds remaining on the clock. We go with a Sparky way in the back. I'm worried about time here, guys. Shoaib really not concerned with time. So here we go. Inferno Dragon's out of hand. We immediately go in the left lane. He has Zap in hand as well. He uses Zap immediately. We exchange Zaps right there. And here comes that Mega Knight. So Zap out of hand for us, not going to be able to do anything there against the Inferno Dragon. Sparky's not going to get too much damage. 32 HP remaining on our left tower. This is going to be GG's. Very unfortunate there that we take an L in match number two. But uh, interesting idea to kind of put a lot of pressure on that opposite lane tower. It is what it is. Show you the wins. Got to show you the losses. Let's try to turn things around into match number three. All right, guys. Going into match number three against Lightwing from In The Light Clan. One of the OG, one of the first clans in beta inside this game in another royal giant deck so we go with the barbarians right there at the bridge against that rg no fireball coming down no spell at all coming down now the opponent has to respond both lanes here they go with the hunter in the right so it is a royal giant kind of cycle deck here he has ewiz I, I believe as well inside this version of the deck we will see and there we go skeleton dragons able to finish off that sparky we go with a giant there we have minions in hand we go with the minions to, to, to assassinate that last skeleton dragon and then try to get something going here Let's see what the opponent decides to do. They decide to activate and fireball. So here we go. It's going to be a King Char activation. Nice defense there by the opponent. We do have an Elixir lead. Perfect time to pump up. Fireball's out of hand. Easy decision here. We have an Elixir lead. And it's going to only it's only going to get better, right? Because essentially we can gobble gang here. And we do. And then we can pump. And what are they going to do? They're still two cards away from fireball, three cards away from fireball. We can Barbarian against the Royal Giant here. They have nothing, nothing for Barbarians here at all. Yeah, I mean, they have Skeleton Drags, but it's not going to, it's going to hold the Royal Giant to a couple hits. And we have a Pump very well protected here. So things looking very, very good inside this match. And it looks like we can probably just Sparky in the back here. Let's see what we do. Okay, so Sparky in the back. Let's see what the opponent decides to do here. So we're going to try to force them to continue to use fireballs on uh, on defense, essentially, against our Sparky, especially if we kind of clog up that lane. And we might do a wizard here. We might do, we're probably going to do wizard weak side. Yep. So not weak side, same lane, obviously. Fireball will come down. That will free us up again 
to be able to... Oh, we don't? Interestingly, he doesn't fireball. Now he does. We do get a sparky hit there, though, guys. Okay, minions come down as well. Zap comes down as well. Minions will get to the tower. Now Heal Spirit does come down. My bad on the E-Wiz version. Getting that confused with the Skeleton Dragon version. Getting that confused with the Hunter version. God. All right. We've seen this deck going around, what, since the Hunt... Since the Fisherman rework. This has been one of the hottest decks in the game. So again, we go with that wizard there, man. Wizard putting in work. Those two hits against Skeleton Dragon is insane. And look at how much damage is being done here. Look at those barbarians predicting the fisherman down from the opponent. There's nothing they can do here. They're going to lose that right tower for sure. There's no way they can stop this push. And look at the left tower, guys. Left tower might fall too. Here it goes, one tower down, make it two towers down. There we go, Sparky down. Let's get a three crown here with 10 seconds, nine seconds left. The opponent has thrown in the towel against this disgusting deck. That's a victory. Let's go into match number four, guys. All right, guys, here we go. After this match, I am going to bump against B-Rad. All right, so we get to go against the great B-Rad for our fourth match. What better opportunity to show the non-skill of this deck by taking down B-Rad? We will see. Good luck, Shoabe. You're gonna need it, man. And you know he's playing, ooh, B-Rad's playing pump. Countered the pump with a pump. Genius move, B-Rad. So let's see here. I wonder if he's streaming right now. So we zap cycle on his pump. B-Rad leaking a little bit here. He goes with a knight in the back. We decide to respond with a giant in the back same lane. Log comes down from B-Rad, chipping away at our pump as well. So Elixir pretty close to even. He goes with it. What is B-Rad playing, man? Pump, knight, cycle cards, Tesla? What in the heck is this? He's got like a dirty rocket or something too. Uh, okay, so he goes with... Is this just Expo? <laughs> is it just Dirty Dirty Expo Cycle with Pump? So here comes the Sparky getting a hit there. And there it is. It is Dirty Dirty Expo Cycle with Pump. And Wizard does not make it in time. Are we back to Zap? Eh... Uh, Log comes down. Are we back to Zap here? Are we gonna Zap? No, we're not gonna Zap. Instead, we're just gonna load the lane up take about a, a lot of, uh, officially a lot of damage off that left uh, tower. 1751, let's see what we do again. We do have a couple elixir advantage here. No minor in B-Rad's deck, which is actually a good thing, you know, because then we can pump up in a little bit more safety. So both players probably looking to pump here. Let's see. Ooh, I don't like that little tiny elixir leakage <laughs> every single time we drop that pump, but either way, five seconds, four, three, make it remaining in single elixir time. Crossing over to double right now, we go with Sparky in the back. See what B-Rad does here. Goes with a defensive expo. So B-Rad's gonna be able to stack endless Teslas and expos against us. It's gonna be very, very difficult to break through. The one saving grace, as you can see it right now, is B-Rad does not have a response to, uh, have a big spell. So we can just stack up lanes here, and that's exactly what we're doing right now. But B-Rad is an expert with just defense in terms of precision defense, and you can see it right there, right? Not even coming close to getting to the tower. Now we have to contend with two Musketeers in the left-hand lane. He doesn't have enough elixir for an expo, so we're just going to go ahead and respond with... And we should respond with a giant. Sparky will finish off those two lovely ladies in the left-hand lane, and here it comes again, just stacking is B-Rad. So I'm looking to maybe pump here, guys, and not support this push an awful lot. And with eight seconds, seven seconds remaining, here we go. Charlie, what are you doing? <laughs> come here, baby. Come here. You can come in. So one second remaining. Here we go. We do get one Barbarian to the right-hand tower. We get a Wizard on the Musky, but two long minutes ahead of us here, guys. I don't know how we break through this defense against B-Rat. Hmm. So... Expo, and we keep going, you know, I think that's the right decision, going with Barbarians in the right-hand lane, but again, the same thing on defense from B-Rad every time. He's back to Log, too. He can use it in the left here in a second. Log does come down. Can we get to that tower? The Zap comes down, and Sparky does connect for one shot. All right, we are right back in this with 23, 22 seconds remaining till triple elixir time. Pump from B-Rad, pump from Shoabe. Ooh, man. So here it comes, guys. Going to be that snowball against the pump. We're going to go Sparky in the back, and there she is. All right, almost triple elixir time. Only eight, seven seconds remaining. Can B-Rad hold on? 
Buran has a lot of fans out there, I'm sure. Who are you rooting for right now? Pause and let me know. Log comes down. Wizard comes down. Snowball comes down. Goblin Gang comes down. Log's gonna come down again from B-Rad in the left. It does. He's back to Snowball again. We zap there. There it goes. Sparky annihilating that Tesla. But again, Knight at the bridge, able to defend very well for B-Rad. Here we go again. Defensive Expo. Sparky gets a shot off. Giant comes down. Log comes down. Sparky gets a shot off. Here we go again. Barbarian's in the right-hand lane. You guys know the drill. You've seen it before. <laughs> You'll see it again. Snowball comes down. Minions come down. Knight is... Oh, Wizard gets a hit. Wizard gets one hit. Two hits. Does Wizard get two hits in the left-hand lane? What the heck was that? 19, 18, 17 seconds remaining here, guys. Snowball comes down. B-Rad trying to snowball cycle. We need to start zap cycling. He logs snowballs. We need zaps on the left tower immediately. We need a lot of zaps. Show Abe. We need zaps now, dude. Zap it! Zap that tower two more times! Two, one, and we lose! Oh man, dude! I thought we could have zapped one more time. 16 HP, B-Rad takes the victory. Let's go into the next match. All right, my bad guys. I played a, ma a match with the wrong deck. I had a uh, Prince in there instead of the Zap. So let's go in and see what we can do here. It's gonna go with minions here and wait to see if he uses a spell, which he doesn't. So we're just gonna go ahead and play the, he does a Zap, but I'm actually not gonna Zap here. I don't need to. Maybe I could have actually now in hindsight because I could have, uh, I could have pumped, right? Eh. We'll go with a Sparky in back. And... I don't even have a Giant to support this, so let's see what he does. I guess I should have zapped those. Let's go for it, guys. Let's go for it. Trying to get to the tower here. Look at this, man. I don't even have to do anything. And now we can just pump. He had nothing for the Barbarians, man. Ended up paying off, guys. We don't take the tower down, but ends up really working out well. Can just minions on top of the Firecracker. And again, oh, he gets that last hit, though. Gets that last hit. All right. So let's see what he does here. Okay, we'll take that trade. And then I think we're just going to go ahead and Sparky in the back. And be ready for a hog attack. He really can't now at this point pressure us. This is going to be left tower down. Pretty confident in that. He has Inferno tower again. So we're just going to go ahead and put some opposite lane pressure there. Zap to reset. He zaps as well. And again, he's doing a good job defending, recognizing that I do not have a big spell. Gotta be careful, though, if he goes in. He's gonna come in hot here. So he's probably gonna hog immediately. And he doesn't. Mmm. That zap. That zap. Plenty of time left, though, for us. This firecracker is going to be such a pain. Zap again. Minion horde. Goblin gang in the left. He zaps. He zaps again. Take the right tower down. Going to go hard here in the right. Get back to a zap. We do minions to protect get a couple shots with the wizard onto the tower and giant's gonna get a couple shots too gotta be careful with elixir here though don't want to get too crazy right so we're gonna go barbarians here and sparky don't want him to zap me down three firecrackers man All dead in two shots. <laughs> okay, I gotta be ready for the knight in the pocket. He goes musky. Trying to keep that wizard alive. Oh! Thought we could get a shot there. We don't. Alright, get that. Get that. Ooh! My man's playing pretty well here, guys. This is a match. Barb's down. 
And we're just going to let that go. We need to kind of save up enough elixir here to get around the Inferno Tower. I'm going to do this and this. Goblin Gang down first. Now minions down. We just tie us to go opposite lane. Okay, we got it. We got it. Zap and boom. All right, cool. Wow. Fun match. Fun deck to play, guys. Give it a try. See what you think of it as well. Thank you so much to Show Abe for coming on the channel. First time guest here on the channel. Great guy. Again, shout to, I don't know, any Bangladeshi viewers out there? Let me know if you are in the comments below. Let me know where you're from in the comments below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Shout out to Stats Royale. Shout out to Brent Chong, my YouTube partner. Shout out to you guys for using creator code CWA. I really appreciate it. And as always, take care, guys.